Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate. It is session 17. It's the 23rd of August 2019. I am Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. I am Eric. No, I am Callum. And I play <laughs> <laughs> Eric Greenwood, the human sorcerer. You never call yourself a lord in the intro, I notice. <laughs> well, no, because that means I've got an extra word to remember. <laughs> <laughs> I can't Struggles speak English. Scott round the right way. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon Scott, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Callum. <laughs> <laughs> it's going well, guys. We've played yeah. 17 sessions together. Um, <laughs> next. Aria, you need to unmute. There we go. <laughs> nope. That's weird. Mm. It looks like she's talking, but there's yeah. no sound. Yeah. She was a ghost. Ooh. Maybe that would have removed the white sheet over your head. <laughs> Just for political reasons as well. It's not a great look. <laughs> uh, Scott, do you want to go ahead and while we're waiting? We'll loop back. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm Scott, and I'm waiting on the day that Callum does his intro right. <laughs> uh, see, Brian, see those two times you weren't here. Guess whose intro was done right? <laughs> Not Callum. <laughs> Hi, I hope you can hear me now. Yep. Yay! Yay! I have no idea what happened because I've done nothing but unmute myself. But oh well. Uh, hi, I'm Adrian. I play Ari Bluebird, the half elf druid. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing Crumbar, a half orc paladin. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kate Lick Hill, a tabaxi rogue. Hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. Every time, Sophie, we always get tabaxi roo. <laughs> <laughs> I never... think it's maybe because I've got my fan on in the background, so it's like chopping out a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> we never quite get the g at the end of it. <laughs> I, do, I, I really don't... make quite a harsh sound as well when I say rogue. Like, nope. it's nope. very Ooh, really good. is it saying it? Yep. Is it doing it again? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I just honestly thought that's how you pronounced rogue. Yeah. Yeah. Just rogue. All right, it must be an English thing. <laughs> it's not. Rogue. No, it's not. It's a safety thing. There we go. We got it that time. It was talked over. I think but yeah. I don't. I don't pronounce the G. Yes, so it doesn't pick it up. Hmm. Maybe your sensitivity is too high on your. Uh... It is a little bit. Otherwise, it just picks up everything. Ah right, it's okay. We'll um, we'll sort that out. And yes, we'll for fi- all we'll the fix it in post. for all those audio nerds out there, th- I know they mean the other way. I know, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. So what happened last time, folks? We all remember, right? We were on a boat. We were on a boat, mother. We ended, oh, we've been, we've ended up on a boat. But we all got out of the library. Mm-hmm. Some of us eventually. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, I meant to ask this, did you listen to the start of it, or did you, did you not? I didn't, to be honest. That's okay, no. it's fine. It was just in case you'd caught up on the the Eric side plot, that was all. <laughs> you got some fancy plot. robes. Mm. I get some fancy robes. He bringing now the swagger. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a higher of... And I dance gracefully across the floor. Maybe and he trips on the edge of his... Thing. Don't know about I don't know about how you trip me up. Don't why fancy like silk makes Ryan. you really, really camp, but yeah. Uh, we also <laughs> like, Ryan, I'm pretty sure fancy silk makes everyone camp. No, like, I got me some mighty fine fancy silks, and I ain't, I ain't camp. So, here we are. But then I was more of a city boy myself. Never mind, anyway, we're going off topic. So, <laughs> the... Yeah, use a skip to library. Use... Lost Eric for a bit as he met Jet. Yeah, we didn't know it. Nah, that's understandable. I mean, he's only the, the li- literally the loudest person in the entire party. Um, <laughs> and that is saying something. Um, and well, then... I mean, come back and have a, cra- a shouting contest with me if you want. I'm not even going to shout, I'm just going to clap. Not beat him. <laughs> yeah, we know how your thunderclap is super effective against Crumbar already, so. Uh, or Thunder Wave, I should say. But yeah. So, we had that, you've had some, like, barbecued scorpion seems to be the delicacy of the south, doesn't it, apparently? So, 
Uh, yeah, that's although it's going to realistically, it's not the best. Yeah, but I mean, you've you've raised complaints in the in the mess hall before. No delicious. We need more ballistic type foods. Then what else did we have? You've met Zedreka. Um, she's lovely. Oh, the drow. No, the dark elf, the Ooh. silver folk. Um, nope. Wow. Nope. Nope. Refuse. Damn. Filthy I refuse noble. to recognize you as a person. I'm a noble. I'm racist. That's how it goes. Holy right? crap. Okay, we're going there. <laughs> <laughs> we went there last episode. So I'll just, I'll name the session now. I'm going to call it the intervention of Eric. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think you should name it banned from YouTube. Mm. <laughs> Demonetized. Well, yeah. So just as a disclaimer, we don't promote any form of uh, discrimination in any fashion. Uh, any fantasy or not. Yeah, <laughs> like the dark elves Down are people the... too. Please respect the them. Um, so, with that, yeah, you meant as a Dreka Adanash. Um, very fun name to say, by the way. Uh, Zadreka. Oh. Uh, kind of inspired the accent that she got landed with as well, so you're welcome for that too. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so. Sounded Russian to me. Yeah, she definitely has that vibe to her. Um, I, I just went for what well, sounds like she doesn't have time to put up with your shit. There we go, Russian. Um, so yeah, let's see. Uh, I'm just doing my wee checkpoints here. Start. <laughs> Excuse uh, me. Oh well, thanks for that. A, a, a gift from Kalem. Kalem, what? Uh, right. So that happened, what else? So Zedreka and you guys had a wee chat, then pretty much said why the fuck did you just bring a, de a demonic hammer uh, into my house? Also, you've been gone for like two months, what the fuck guys? Um, uh, it's a nanny moment. Yeah, and then you were like, oh yeah, we never thought of any of that, oopsie. Uh, and then I think somebody had said, well, Commander Slalba seems like the man to talk to, so I think we'll just head up to Glitterhig, and that seems like that'll get us out of your hair. And she went, that's brilliant, go. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that was the gist of it really, wasn't it? He went to the armory, there was some hammer moments, then there was a wee bit of a scuffle, a wee skirmish. I liked that bit. Yeah, I am. Eremos did not like that bit though. I don't know if you remember <laughs> the distress of Eremos. Who cares about him? It's only a kid. <laughs> Harsh. Like, I know I never said it out and out, but like, I kind of expect you guys to be relatively good, you know? Hi, I'm good. I didn't kill anyone. No, no, I'm not good. I'm neutral. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, well, I've tried to put a kid in a bag, I've fought with teammates, I've tried to eat a cat. Um, yeah, I'm totally good. Yup. Saving the world one crime at a time. You tried to eat a cat that was a team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't. I don't know if that absolves him, quite frankly. The, I think it does. Yeah, but we already established you're a racist human, so. <laughs> mm, yeah. Anyway, goals. Uh, let's go chat about goals. Then, that was another catch up. So, the current active goal is inform the Great Gold Worm of the Abyss situation. How are folks feeling about that? Redressing it? Keeping well, it? What's the thoughts? We are now on the sea. And the thing is, last time we were on the sea, we got effed in the B. So, I wouldn't mind changing it to like survive the boat journey again. Yeah. I don't think that's going to be that big a deal, to be honest. My plan was kind of just have you appear in Glitterhagen after travel. And if people wanted to have done stuff on the boat trip over, you just kind of done that. Oh, so, right, okay. Uh, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. I don't really intend every time you get on a boat that you're going to get into a fight. That seems... I can't tell with you, Ryan. And that's the point. I mean, I mean <laughs> last time me and you were on a boat, got cut in half and Spider-Man had to save us. That is true. What? That's the story. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about uh, Canada, mm. so. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in Canada stays in Canada. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Mm. <laughs> so, in other stories, <laughs> um, like this one, what's everybody's thoughts then? Right, so let's go down. Let's go down the list. Eric, what we're we thinking? What's Eric's current focus? Right, 
keep in mind that you've got a bit of like narrative scope from leaving the uh, the citadel, travelling up by camel and Karen uh, to the boats, getting a boat, and then sailing for a couple of weeks. On questions a boat. are on his mind. Many questions. Okay, yeah. so what? Camels and Karen. So Karen's addressed up something else. Well, Karen is a, a name. No, Karen camel. is a yeah. specific camel that yeah. I've spoken to and was a bit of a bitch. Yeah, she <laughs> she keeps complaining to the manager and like, oh, shut up. <laughs> a horse and a or something. Anyway, it's one of those questions of how does a camel wear jeans? Isn't it like, is it you know? <laughs> do, do they have two pairs of jeans on? Or yeah. they have a four-legged set of jeans, so they just wear back jeans. <laughs> now yeah. my head hurts. So, <laughs> so Eric, what's um, your current focus then? Like, you're sailing home, uh, right? Going home. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's kind of on his mind, but he's more thinking about the book, the hammer, uh, that the hole into entity. hell entity. Yeah, the, the, the hole into hell is kind of like. Pushed out his mind. Yeah, it's like fourth on the list of things that elf. Eric cares about. <laughs> There's an elf that gave him a robe and was like, "Oh yes, we should. We don't know anything about the mistress, do we?" I'm like, "That's not what I meant, you prick." <laughs> you didn't exactly put up a fight, did you? You were kind of like, "Okay, I guess like... I'll leave then." <laughs> <laughs> well, he said that, and I was just like, "Are people listening?" Oh shit! Uh, mm. Fuck! I'll, I'll have to find another way. But yeah, no, it's uh, more like. Self-involved because he's a human noble. He's not. He's concerned. I am concerned. Sorry, mm-hmm. doing a combo. He's, I am concerned about like the abyss, but that's not on the forefront of my mind because it wasn't the most recent thing to happen. Yeah, it was two months ago. <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, it could it could have blown over by now. We've been to the Winchester. Wait, have we? <laughs> um. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Uh, right, so Eric's kind of just what focusing a bit more on like what the mistress mystery, I guess. The mistress, the book, the hammer. There's a lot of there's a, there's there's questions bounce around in his cranium. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and how trustworthy the hammer is as well, I guess is a I think during a the director was kind of like, you're an idiot for carrying that. <laughs> Who would take I, that? <laughs> I don't care what she says because reasons. <laughs> because reasons, the, because racism. The hammer saved us. The hammer is trustworthy. Mm-hmm. True that. Right. True that. Um, well, about... who would ever say you know their newest shiny is bad? You know, like mm. right. you know, like Harry Potter finding a random book that gave him all four kids. You know, that. Like, oh god. Who who bottled it? Sophia, you okay over there? Of, uh... Yep, I'm fine. <laughs> Advantages like Going. nobody's gonna say no to that, so he's mm-hmm. uh, loving his hammer, yep. no matter how much we might tell him that it's bad. <laughs> My precious. On that note, though, Arya, since you're speaking now, I am. Um, what about yourself? What's Arya's current focus? What's going through um, her head? Well, she's got her bird back, mm-hmm. so she's happy about that. Um, I think I would like to know what the the letters that we've been given are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Try to like find a way to open them. I think that would be what I'm most curious about because obviously each and every single one of us got it, got mm-hmm. one, mm-hmm. and we don't have any information as to whether they all say the exact same thing. Because if mm-hmm. they all say the exact same thing, obviously we would have just been given one. We we're given one each. So I have reasons to suspect that maybe this is something maybe like customized to each of us in some way. So I'm curious if whoever sent, well, if the person that sent them somehow has some information on each of us. Mm. So I think that would be interesting to. Well, they definitely knew where you would be. See what the person wants to do with Eric, me, you know. Have you tried casting one of your lightning bolt spells on your letter? It doesn't seem sturdy enough. <laughs> what the lightning bolt, or you, yeah, or <laughs> <laughs> me and the letter? Yeah. Like, no, let's get that again. We might hit it with a hammer. We'll find out. Yeah. Well, I mean, see the princess lady that gave us the letters. Where does she stay? Horizon. And that's the big bit in the middle, isn't it? No. The big no. bit in the middle is Omen, and that's the capital. That's where the king lives. Uh, right. Let me move the Yeah, can you map. move to the thing? Dun, 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 dun. Right, so the map. Uh, this is Horizon. 
Use, I'm starting to think maybe, user, maybe we should... User here, and our head in here. I'm starting to think maybe we should do a detour through Horizon and dun, just dun, be dun, like... Dun, 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 dun. We got these letters that won't open, so we just came in instead. Seal off into the Horizon. Like, what do you guys think? Would you just be up for a wee detour to Horizon? I'm too involved in my hammer. Or would you rather go to thingy well, part? If that's, why don't we... I'll go through everything first, right? And then maybe that's mm. something Crumber brings up when... Maybe we'll just start by getting on the boat. Maybe that's a, a thing. We'll start, we'll open mm. the scene there and then you can pose that question to the group because that's more of an in-character thing to decide. Um, okay. Uh, anything else you want to add about Crumbar's focus? Because I feel like you've just told me you're focused right there. So Yeah, yeah. like the getting the letter done, find out as well kind of what else has really happened over the past two months because I'm like, like, you know, mm. I can't imagine that uh, thingy's son and that demon thing have fought for two months solid, you know? I mean, it depends where you place the two months, right? Because, mm -hmm. yeah, user placing it at the end. It won't be the travel, it's more likely the whole journey, yeah. Like, if you're in a black hole, mm -hmm. time goes... The outside world will travel faster uh, through time. Mm -hmm. well. See, because I was thinking that, see, when we teleported... Uh, through the red vortex. It, yeah, it's that that took us two months. But you just don't know. It could be no. that, right? That could be the timey wimey wibbly wobbly thing, or it could be the black hole abyss effect, right? Yeah. Were we in the hyperbolic time chamber, or like the reverse of it, and just didn't realise? Yeah, we were screaming the entire time. <laughs> ah, Vegeta! I like the idea that you're actually just standing still, everything with blindfolds on, you're screaming in place, and then a bunch <laughs> of like random monks come and pick you up and move you really fast. Um, <laughs> they're all too backsy, so you can cover the movement range so quick enough. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so what about yourself? Speaking of tabaxi, um Kitty, what's what's your current focus? Mine uh, would be to get the letter open. Mm -hmm. What it says. Um, I don't know like about I, the rest of it. Yeah, I was gonna say, how do you feel about the abyss? Like, what would like how unnerved is Kitty by what happened in the abyss? I guess it's quite unnerved. I think I'm eating my about it. Like, not one exp not one that's very good at expressing themselves. So it's just just bottle it up, eat you eat till you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <and laughs> which like... you know when you eat too much, you're not going to feel better. But <laughs> you don't know that. But it's <laughs> really like, like, it like if I'm eating, people won't talk to me because my mouth's busy. Blah blah blah. Pretty and much. I'm busy. Yeah. Yeah. No, and then gonna, you'll yeah. eventually just get over it. Mm -hmm. So if you ain't gonna lie, you're hitting a bit close to home here. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Mood. Now, obviously, I don't imagine Kitty cares too much about the whole like Golden Order situation that that fast. Not really, but you know the command oh. decent to us, so mm -hmm. like you know, kind of want to tell. No, but, no, but that do you mean Gil? Yeah. 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 Gil is pretty decent, to be honest. Um, Zedreka's not indecent, as it were. It's just, Zedreka's been like, where the fuck's I've really been for two months? Yeah. Um, obviously a wee bit frazzled. Um, everyone keeps asking me questions. I was third in charge. <laughs> third. <laughs> How has this happened? Cued designated survivor over the Golden Citadel. Um, oh god, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that makes sense. Obviously it's, it's not easy being a dark elf in a position of kind of I guess global authority when it comes to the mm -hmm. kind of tension that the dark elves have in the world. Yeah. Um, yeah, the silly. Shut up, racism. And then, uh, <laughs> what about what about yourself, Reach? What's Reach's current focus? Well, there is actually a good thing to go for at the moment, but mm -hmm. uh, I'm more worried about the Citadel. It's definitely not prepared for what's about to hit it. Mm. Or, was going to have it sometime anyway, yeah. Yeah, because let's say Gil doesn't manage to hold back the, uh, you know, the like Valor thing, or let's say maybe it has been two months and he's well, already lost that fight. Through. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, right? It's Obviously that's the first thing to step through, or the first thing maybe beckoned through, more accurately. So, mm. like, what else is there to come, right? And his immediate thought was, go get my dad, go get dad, he'll, he'll fix it. So, yeah, see, that's my worries. I was like, that's the first thing that came through. Mm. What the hell's to follow? Mm. Yeah. And if the tear stops, right? 
so yeah it's um it's curious beyond that uh, anything else in Richard's forefront so we've got concerns about the Citadel curiosity about the letters um, I don't remember exactly who it was but definitely somebody had mentioned um, Commander Slalbus in Glitterhagen because that's literally where you chart like you said to Zadreka like look can we get we're going to head to Glitterhagen she's like cool I can I can arrange a boat to go to there that is something I can achieve today <laughs> you know <laughs> that's something in the wind column <laughs> um, is charterable but there's nothing to say you couldn't like you've got two paladins from the order right you could just say the change of plans we just need to like do a detour to Horizon and you could just go off of Horizon right it's maybe not ideal but they'll probably just expect more compensation from the Citadel do you know what I mean yeah but it's not unheard of um, you might need to sweeten the deal depending on if it depends on the weak charisma rule but we'll, we'll deal with that if that comes up right yeah. I'll well, sweeten the deal by not hitting them with a hammer yeah yeah I'll space that may need your hammer yeah. <laughs> his new hammer his golden <laughs> hammer um <laughs> I'll scare him with my creepy hammer. That's I don't want to know about that. Anyway, um, so I take it we're gonna. I think we're gonna open up on, I guess, at the docks. Then really, it sounds like to me, since it seems like we've got a bit of a an in character discussion to have about what your actual next steps are. As maybe you just kind of stop traveling, probably knackered, get all your gear together at the docks, and then I think yeah, we fade in on you guys like. You've spotted your ship at the harbour. You've spoke to like the little harbour mastery dock type hut thing that's here, a kind of yeah. barn, as it were. Um, and yeah, you just check the uh, the shipping manifest and find the name of your boat and off you go. What is the name of the boat? I'm about to go get your boat name. Don't worry. Oh, oh in my boat face. Yeah. Um, oh my god! <laughs> I was using a a name generator for an evil galactic kind of warlord. Uh, so the options. I was sure you were gonna say. Uh, so you was gonna say what? Sorry, you cut off. Sorry, not you, Crumbar with floating my face, Scott. Uh, <laughs> the options that are currently on my generator just now are the Realm Absorber, the Spirit Vaporizer, the Generation Gorger, the Imploder of Existence, the Queller of Universes, Annihilator of Time, the Gaping Desolator, the Corrupt Serverer or sort of Severer, the Frozen Dominion's Tinter. The Wandering Existence Trainer. So I'm going to go back and change the type of generator I'm using. Um, and I'm just <laughs> going to go get a, a slightly better name uh, than those, because those are ridiculous. Um, two wee seconds, I'll grab something. What have I got here? Uh, but yeah, so while I'm looking up a name, mm. who's doing what? So I'd like to think that uh, me being bored on the travel down, I've just been kind of like gnawing and chewing at this letter and just trying to like rip it open and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just getting really frustrated at the fact that I can't get into it. But um, careful! I don't think this world has dentists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Crumbar being a half org would definitely need a dentist anyway. So. Um, but yeah, so just as like we're getting ready to go onto the bo onto the board, onto the boat, <laughs> um, I just kind of say to everyone, I'm like, right, the how is it you pronounce that woman's name that was back at? Oh, the the, the acting commander. Yeah, Zadreka. Zadreka. Yeah. Or I was going to yeah, I was going to say Commander Adanash. The commander. Yeah. <laughs> um, Guys, I'm just thinking the commander's worried about not having, um, you know, enough uh, reinforcements at uh, the Citadel. So I'm wondering if we should investigate these letters further by going straight to the princess and seeing if she will aid in uh, supporting the fight that we believe to happen. It would mean detouring to Horizon, but I think it could be worth it. He says chewing on his lair. Yeah. Also, it's the Judami. The what? What? The Judami. The name of the ship. All oh, right. Mm. <coughs> so yeah, he is, and he has met with silence. The Judami. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Judami. <laughs> yeah. 
But yeah, so yeah, what's a uh, who, who who replies to a crumber? It does sound like a good idea, and it's not a massive way out of our journey, really. It's the equivalent of adding like a week, really. Yeah. Like it's maybe two weeks up to Glitterhagen. But yeah. I chip in and say it might be considered rude to go visit somebody who sent us a letter that we've not yet been able to open. I maybe can say it means that we're not yet invited in their company. I consider it rude sending us a letter that we can't open. I do agree. But at the same time, this doesn't necessarily mean that we'd be welcome there. So this is definitely something that we need to keep in mind, no matter what our choice might be. I just kind of laugh and kind of like, like kind of hit the the symbol on my chest and be like, "I'm golden order. I'm welcome everywhere." Ha ha ha. Aramalus just scrunches up his face at you as if he doesn't believe that. <laughs> doesn't say anything. Just... It's fine, nobody else believes it in any way, so... Yeah, to be honest, Crumbar doesn't really believe it 100% either, mm. but... Yeah, but it's like the police, the police do good, right? So, Crumbar's oh! the police. We're, we're getting a bit political there, but yeah. <laughs> no, but, I mean, the Golden Order are kind of the police in this world. Mm. Um, like, the anti-demon police, at least. Yeah, they can so uh, sorry, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, what do you two think? Yeah. I kind of just like kind of snap to like I've been gone in a different world. I had to go. Sorry, what? Should we go to Horizon? Find out about this letter and maybe try and get some more help for Citadel? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm figuring out that there because, you know. We might be able to open these letters, and if not, we'll also. There's also a lot of information in that area, so. Yeah. I, I just love how Eric was just like, yeah, sure. I'm just, I'm, so, just, not, just just so nonchalant. <laughs> just wave him off dismiss, dismissively, like, yeah, whatever, okay. Yeah, he's got other shit in his mind. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah so. Okay. There you go. So you said up, get on the boat, and I guess just arrange. The detour of the thing. Uh, who would like to have that conversation with the boatineer? Eric, you're pretty good at dealing with the servants, so if you're going to <laughs> ask them nicely to go to Horizons for us. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the captain's name uh, <laughs> is Clark Grove, and I love the name. That sounds like a human, right? Uh, I've not actually decided. Uh, no, he's a dwarf. He's a dwarf! Right, I'll speak to him in dwarf. Clark then. Grove, the dwarf captain. That's amazing. Is he related to Bob the dwarf? No. Does he have uh, the... Never mind, bad joke. I'm not going to say it. The mighty hero that is Bob the dwarf will be a legend <laughs> to discover. <laughs> Final boss. <laughs> right. <laughs> Where is this guy? Is he on the boat? Is he? Yeah, like right. I just imagine you're just kind of loading your stuff onto the ship as, you know, as you're having this kind of conversation. Right, okay, I'm gonna pass my bag to reach and go. As I go to have this conversation, go shove my stuff somewhere safe. Please, um, yes, you're welcome. I could manage that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should go speak to them then, reach. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll look at him, give him a thumbs and go. Yeah, sorry. Please and thank you, and wander off <laughs> toward the captain. Yeah. yeah. Um, very well dressed. Like the clothing, kind of looks immaculate on this guy. Not like sea weathered at all. Um, almost looks brand new. So he's in good company. He's look very fancy on the boat of the ship. Um, I'm in my elven robe. Yeah, the only clothes you're wearing. Oh, good sign that uh, captain. Uh, you know. Doesn't look as though he's BBC. But yeah, like he, he, he looks like, you know, he's, he's also like kind of posing with like, you know, a knee up on the bow type thing. Um, <laughs> looking out like as if somebody's about to paint him. And then, uh, yeah, he turns around and he looks you up in, in the best Minnesota accent possible that I will not do. <laughs> he then uh, 
kind of looks you up and down, and he's like, "Hello, hello, um, Eric. I'm one of your passengers. Um, we do to go to Glitterhagen, but we have an we have an urgent need to go to Horizon." Okay, he just looks at you. He's like, he looks down at his hand that he's got extended, and he's like, "I'm Captain Grove." He just looks back down at his hand. <laughs> I go shake his hand. Yeah. Go, Sorry, uh, I'm in I'm in my own little world. Okay, no, it's just like dark days. Okay, just shakes his head a bit, and his little uh, you know dust almost comes off the hat. A big fancy yeah. kind of captain hat. You don't even know the the half of it, Captain Grove. Grove. It is Grove. Yeah. That one. Gone. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, the other option was Max Kraus, and I thought it's too bad. It's too bad a name to give it. Oh, sorry, all the Max Krauses out there, by the way, but like it's just a bad name. Because of Jim. And then uh, Clark Grove. Clark with a K, by the way, that is. Uh, so yeah. He, what at the end? No, at the start. <laughs> and uh, no, like you know, K G R O V. Um. So. Kind of just starts there, and he kind of like rubs his uh, his chin a bit, and he's like, "I was only chartered to go to Port of Glitterhagen." Kind of looks wistfully um, out to the sea. Uh, we've got we've got two paladins on board as well. Pretty sure if you ask them, they'll secure um, extra compensation for the detour that we need. Roll persuasion. Oh no. I'm a persuasive person. It's, it's just your luck, it's not a disadvantage with your uh, amazing green. Persuasive people. Yeah, no, like, I think he, he, he sets most over and he's like, I'll expect your signature on the letter. Yeah, sure. And he, you can see he goes to like put his hand out, and then he kind of just does that thing where he kind of folds it into like the space in his shirt, like where he's, you know, kind of tucks it in there, and holds it on his chest, um, and just kind of goes. We'll be setting off in a couple of hours. And he just kind of looks out again over the bow, looking at nothing in particular. <laughs> cool. I'll sit. Yeah. See you later, Captain. And I'm off to stroll over to the party, mm -hmm. and inform them. Cool, cool. So yeah, you head back to everybody. What's everybody else doing while he's off negotiating? Chucking his stuff in the darkest corner. Fucking that view. But yeah, uh, so yeah, everybody's maybe like, I guess you've just found somewhere to like store your shit. Every day, I guess. He's of all yeah, like, the same um, kind of bit uh, of the ship. There's quite a lot of people on this one though. Like, there's people on this one already. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just obviously people waiting to head to Glitterhagen, I guess. I like I like to think like with this kind of we went on board with kind of we found a place we've all placed our stuff down ni nice and neatly, and uh, then Reach has just kind of chucked uh, Eric's stuff in the corner, and I've just pulled out the jug and been like, drink. <laughs> and then it's just a case of sit down and we're just sitting there passing this jug about. To be fair, it's <laughs> likely the jug's going to be water though. Given you're traveling, right? Nah, beer. Okay. Oh, it's beer. Okay, so did everyone drink beer on the way up here then? What's that? What did everybody drink on the way up? On your camel rides? Oh, yeah, well, it was like a day ride, so we used water then, but now we're all <laughs> beer. <laughs> I'll give you it. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Yeah! Um, so, yeah, this is just going to be an absolutely horrendous boat trip. Um, but that's fine. Uh, so yeah, Eric, you've secured drop off in Horizon, I guess. Yep. But you kind of need to then maybe inform your paladins that they owe him now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I come down, uh, look at him, and see that my stuff isn't with their stuff. Mm. And look at Reach go. So, where's my stuff? It's stowed away in the corner, right, waiting for you. Ah, yeah, whereabouts? Just point me in that direction. 
a point. <laughs> I it's like probably the opposite corner from like Isn't where you guys have probably like put your stuff or like actually like shacked up. Um, okay, I get that. I get. I get the idea. Oh, by the way, uh, Reach, Kumba, one of you two need to sign some papers for extra compensation for the ship captain or whatever. Not my issue anymore. And I'm gonna have to go sit with my stuff. <laughs> No plug for you then. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, you've probably got about a week of sailing just to go over to Horizon. Uh, Before you go into the full week, after about four gallons or so of beer, I just get Crumber's hand with a pen and just get him to sign. The <laughs> 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 right, well, how about we have Crumbar roll a constitution save against your Persuade, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> right, let's let's give that a go. So, give me a Persuasion, or in fact, no, Crumbar, do you want to go first? Give me a, a con check to see what the DC is. Con save. Hey! Right, oh. so, oh. let's, let's see I how well... Master being I drunk. <laughs> right, okay. You yeah. might get a nat 20. Nope. Yeah. Right, so, Crumbar... You're not drunk, despite maybe this is the part where Reach would be getting drunk. So hence why he's tried this. So, so he's brave enough to. Yeah, to like he's he's maybe thought right. I've paced this out to the part where I'd be getting tipsy. He must. He's been drinking twice as much as me. He's probably tipsier, because it's been one obviously one for Crumbar, one for Kitty, one for Crumbar, one for Arya, one for Crumbar, one for Reach, <laughs> <laughs> one um, for Crumbar, one, one for, for Eric Crumbar. that I'll have because he's too far away. And then one for Grumba. <laughs> Eremos is too young to drink, I'll have his. That's two because of how young he is. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, yeah, so you go to, like, obviously, manoeuvre him into, like, writing this. How does that go? Like, what do you say to him? What do I say? Yeah, like, how, do, like how does that scene start? Like, do you just, like, put a piece of parchment underneath him, or...? I was actually expecting to be half asleep, but uh, no need this, but yeah. Uh, if, but, ach, it's nothing here, this is just for the captain formalities. Just needs a signature. Uh. And you can clearly see, like, you're obviously savvy enough to realise this is the thing Eric was talking about, about somebody needs to sign off and, you know, extra compensation to get dropped off. So, aye. Somebody's name needs to go on this. Uh, so, I've just kind of went... Like looked at looked at the sheet of paper, looked up at Eric eh, Reach, looked back down at the sheet of paper, and like just kind of clicked onto what he's been trying mm -hmm. to do. So I've just went, like, why well, certainly I'll do it. I pick up the pen and then just like cr like crumple it in my hand, <laughs> and then just go oops, and then just throw it like somewhere far beyond at the other end of the ship. The paper or the quill? The eh, the quill. The quill. So whoever's quill that was, you don't have a quill anymore. <laughs> I just assumed it was the captain, guys. So did I actually? But nope. Yeah. So whoever's quill that was, it's gone. So between you guys that are at the table that aren't Eric and definitely not Aramos, because he would not give you his quill. Um, I don't have a quill. Well then. I don't think any of us have a quill. Well to be then. Yeah. So I'm looking for the inventory mm. sheet. Nope, no quill. God damn it. Does nobody have a quill? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a quill, Kitty? Maybe. <laughs> I'll buy you a new one. <laughs> Just sat there with like a slapped ass face. <laughs> Just <laughs> I've gone to retrieve the quill, I'm sort of there holding it between my two paws like This <sighs> is <just> bent. <laughs> I think, see when you do that, like when you like go and retrieve it and then like go and sit back down like in a bit of a huff the way you described it um, I think Aramos like comes over to you and kind of like, for the first time probably is like, if you're like if you've cupped the kind of uh, you know, <laughs> oh, no, the quill in your wait. hands then he's run over and he's, for the first time he's actually made contact physically with you and he's like holding your arm with right. both of his hands and he's <laughs> just looking at it going will it be okay? Can I just point out the fact that there's a giant ass bird in the party and knowing Kitty, she would just go over and just pluck one of its feathers out for a new one. No. I mean, no, it's yeah. not rock. <laughs> hey! 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 Go. But yeah, Sarah Moss like runs up to you and so, like kind of says that to you. It, it'll, it'll be okay. I'll fix it. 
and he's look. He kind of just looks at, it and he's like, "Okay, can I watch?" Not right now. And he kind of looks a bit sad at that, but he looks back down and he's like, "It probably needs time to rest." Yeah. And he kind of just that's nods. it. And he just kind of sits next to you, and does that thing that kids do, where they kind of just like hit their like feet as they swing them off whatever they're sitting on, like a crate. I'm just sort of sat there with my with this quill in my paws, looking at him like, "Yeah, and what he's, is this kid?" And he's kind of just like <laughs> trying not to look at you now because you've he's doing that nonchalant. I'm not really here, you know, but quite clearly mm-hmm. just sat next to you. But to be fair, this is probably progress, right? Mm. <laughs> so yeah, we've got that scene happening. Um, we we solved the small problem of uh, someone needing to sign the thing. Yep. No, we don't. So two week, no, it's a one week journey to Glitterhagen, and you've got a lot of beer. Two to Glitterhagen, one to Horizon, three to Glitterhagen yeah, if you want to go via Horizon. Horizon. Sorry. Yeah, so, one. Yes. I sorry, one to Horizon. So we've got another six nights to try this. <laughs> Fine. Crombard Krum, just kind of grins back I mean, I think what you'll find is you've got a couple hours before the captain's willing to leave, and if it's not been signed, he's going to Glitterhagen. Crombard just kind of grins mm. at Reed, and he's just like, ah, I appreciate, I was like, I, I, I like your style, you thought you could fool me. I'll do you one better. We'll have an arm wrestle for it, and whoever loses, sign. Ah. Uh. Is interesting. Would that be able to roll dexterity instead of strength for that? By <laughs> Not way? for an arm wrestle, no. It's like <laughs> an arm wrestle. Like, it, it would be yeah. athletics. Yeah. 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 Like, there's no, there's no way. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm racking my brain, but like, unless you're going to be like doing it like Black Widow style, I don't, I don't see it. Like, <laughs> with his leg. Where you go to shake his hand, but then you end up strangling him with your thighs. You know, like. But, <laughs> paper scissors instead. <laughs> 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 nope. That's not the offer. <laughs> uh, no, we can wait then. <laughs> I just got a. Gr- I just got a like. Right, fine, whatever. And then uh, just kind of sit down with my jug and pamphlet time and play a merry little tune. Yeah, you definitely do. Because I, sm- I still feel dead smug about totally winning against him. So, yeah, that's why I can play it well. Mm-hmm. It's just a ballad yeah, of that time you bet, Eric. Yeah. that's what, like, And that is my two good rolls gone for the rest of the game, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Not even the session, the game. <laughs> yeah, just the game. <laughs> right, so I think the immediate problem is convince this guy to head to, you know, Horizon. That's it, really. That's your kind of immediate problem. You've probably got like a, like maybe two hours or so to really achieve this before the boat set sail for Glitterhagen. Oh, is it not set sail? I thought this was it. No. On sail. Nope. Not yet, but you just like stealing your stuff. First three or four days is going to be the same direction anyway. Uh, not necessarily, because they've been on a different current. Remember, magic seas works differently. Yeah. yeah. Because you kind of need to be on the right current to get to where you want to go. Like that scene in Finding Nemo with the turtles. Yeah. Only less high. Man. So yeah, that's really the immediate problem to resolve. Can Uh, we just go find a raisin instead? A raisin? (laughs) Instead of going on the right current, go on the right raisin. Oh no. Right, okay. Ka- Callum, that's like you're on notice now, right, Callum? Yeah. Just <laughs> that, and, and that is why you are in the corner. <laughs> that is indeed why you're in the RP corner. <laughs> <laughs> dot dot dot. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Dot dot dot. Quotes are done. Cool. Moving on. Um, yeah. So, Eric, what are you thinking about or doing in, in the corner while they're all like scrumpling up paper and throwing it around and various other things? I'm not paying attention to them. I'm just like sat there looking at my hammer. Got my book in front of me. I'm thinking. I hit the book with a hammer. Does it work? Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I don't know. I, I want to. Can I commune with my hammer? Can I sit there and talk to it on a long boat journey? You can talk to your hammer if you want, yeah. <laughs> want to talk back? I don't know. I'm going to uh, try 
do what I did before and try and like hold it out and pour like because I have sorcery points now. Mm-hmm. Just like pour a bit of my magic into it to see if it will respond to me. Okay. So, talk me through this. Okay, so I put the hammer head on top of the book lightly. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I, I'm holding the, ha- the handle and just pouring a bit of my magic into the hammer and close my eyes and wait, clearing my head. Okay, so what are you putting in? Uh, I'll go with a, uh, a shock and grasp. <laughs> no, I thought you were saying you were going to put sorcery points in it. I want hmm. I don't like. I I don't know how to spend my sorcery points without using a spell. I don't think. Well, Eric would either. You. That would be how you kind of feed it magic, if that makes sense. That, oh, from that's kind of like your inner kind of additional power. You're kind of more sculpting oh. kind of... like It's almost like your grasp on magic would be your sorcery points. That's how you change spells to suit you, right? Okay, so can I just like put a, so- like a sorcery point worth of magic into it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You should knock yourself down I'm to three. Down. Yeah. yeah. I think as you do, like, you just see like wisps of like see like where the blue lines would have appeared over like your hand and stuff like that i think yeah. you just see that crack open red and pour mm. out like kind of almost like red kind of see like what the creature was made of almost like red vapor energy drifting all kind of like as if water down a drain into the ruby at the hilt mm. and then it kind of like shimmers that kind of remember i told you it was almost like kind of flowing liquid inside yeah like kind of almost like lava-esque inside it through all the veins that creep all the way through the, the hammer and it just lasts maybe maybe a, a, a small moment and then flickers dim again ha I'm doing like hello is anyone there and then a uh, like you hear a like someone like fall over and yelp a little bit and it sounds like a, a kid falling over behind a crate nearby Ermos <laughs> being a little dick as usual. Uh, it's not Ermos is right next to a uh, gay. Hmm. Kid. Yeah. Gonna, like I'm gonna look like look behind me, look for that, that noise, look towards it. Yeah, and then you can see like what looks like I can know. Oh, it's a dog. In fact, no. Um, uh, sorry, that's my dog. It's okay. You can see a like a doll sat on the top of the crate. Uh, but that's it. Cut it with your hammer. Just, just like a little doll, like a kind of little ragtag kind of cloth doll thing. Uh, you can go over and look at the other side of the crate if you want. If you want to move. Yeah, I could like kind of like pick my hammer up, pick my book up, look at the doll weirdly, and then look behind the crate and look around. Yeah, and it's it. just like this like small girl just fell over, kind of in you know very simple clothing. Like kind of like sits up and she goes, "Hello." Was it you I heard? And she's like, "I fell." Huh. And what were you doing? And then she kind of like looks at you, kind of standing over like the doll, and then kind of looks at the doll and then looks up at you, and then she's like, "Can I have my doll back, please?" I never took it. And then she kind of like does that thing where she kind of edges close, grabs it really fast, and then like runs back towards wherever her parentals are. Yeah. Back into the, okay. the belly of the boat somewhere. I'll have to go sit back down and then put more, uh, put the book down, put the hammer on top, and repeat with another sorcery point. Yeah. And uh, again, just like before, again, like another red tear from another kind of part of your arm. Again, this energy seeps out, and again, just seems to funnel its way into the ruby. Hmm. It needs more food. Mm. I'm gonna put my last two points into it. Yeah. So I think yeah, like as like anyone watching this, it probably looks evil as shit, right? Because you've just got. <laughs> I don't care. Like you've just got a uh, Eric with all these kind of like red scars, as if he's bleeding into this thing, as the hammer slowly starts to like feed from him. Um. Yeah. And then it goes dim. 
son of a bitch. <laughs> and then, like, as the, the scars go kind of dim from the red, it's just that kind of bluish light haze that's coming from them now. Oh, God. I'm going blue again. Yep. Forgot about that. Yeah. So, now the creepy red man with a hammer in a book is now <laughs> going creepy blue. blue. Man. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Keep track of what you're putting in the hammer, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Because I need like 10 or some crap in it, don't I? Yep. Uh, yeah. Don't know if it's worth just making yourself another. Uh, I wouldn't even do it here. See if you do it in your resources box. Resources? Yeah. So see if you've got like a sorcery thing and you've got like three sets of crossbow bolts for some reason. Uh, yeah, because I just have one set of crossbow bolts. Why don't you just change that top one to not be crossbows so, and just change it to, I don't know, hammer I foot or whatever. Uh, I'm, I want to keep my three cases of crossbow bolts. Fair enough. Uh, hammer! Three. No. Four. Mm. Cool. Yep, yep. Um, well, now I'm going to try cover myself up. And be like, whoops. Put my hammer away, put my book away, just like sit there, like looking like I'm sulking, but I'm just trying to hide. I'm like, mm. if I look like I'm sulking, people won't come over. Mm. I'm just going to change this. There you go. I made some adjustments. All right. But yeah, so you're slowly losing power to a hammer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What else do you do after that? Like, you just you realize you're sat there with not really a lot of a lot of whammy. Keep in mind, you can turn spell slots into sorcery points. Can I do it that way? What does any way around? You should learn how your sorcerer works, boy. Have, have a wee look at your a. Uh, Sorcery point section of your sorcerer. That's what I'm looking at. Uh... Mm, that's a good thing to know. Well, you're having a wee bit at that though. I'll switch over to the rest of them. Right, obviously you've used this amazing time to solve your how do we get to Horizon problem. Yeah, how about <laughs> darts instead? <laughs> of darts. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Crumbar's not going to back down from a fight, is he? Yeah. No, not at all. So, we're going to have a dart competition, are we? I think so. Ah. You use my book. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that it was just the darts thrown into the book and you still got damaged. Like, <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. So yeah, um, you can set up a dart competition if you wanted. Yeah. Uh, yeah, go with that. Cool. Um, Eremos gets excited at this. He's like, what does that mean? It means I'm gonna throw shit. <laughs> it's a sports, sporting uh, challenge. That's, we've both got pretty much an even. I would think we've pretty much even with darts, but we'll see. Can I have a go? Can I be involved? Of be course you can. Yeah. Yes. And he kind of gets excited at that, and then he kind of looks back at Kitty and like puts like a hand, like just at your wrist where you're still holding the uh, the coin. He's like, "I'll be back," and nods really kind of enthusiastically at you. I just have an eye twitch. Well, so he just kind of like sits in whatever seats you were sitting in at the time, uh, if you are standing now, and. I mean, yeah. So, Reach, I guess you get your darts out? Yeah. Cool. Mm. And who's going first? You or Crumber? Is it best of I'm three or? To go first. Yeah, best of three sounds good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so I, I mean, Reach re 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 the challenge, so I'm guessing he would go first. Well, we'll do it. We'll do like, um, so it'll be darts Roll. with decks. Yeah. Um, right. So, Scott. I'll I'll put some darts on your sheet for you so you can actually throw these. Uh, give me a second, so I can just do that just now. Can uh, I just throw them at reach? No, I need to learn. Are you proficient in darts? I Probably. don't think 
we would make that matter at the moment. Uh, let's see. Simple weapons. It, no, it does, it does matter because. That's cool. I've stuck. got simple weapons. I'm not yeah. a weapon. No. I should be. Let's dump these on here. Dark. Cool. It's just because he's got a button to click, that's all. Um, yeah, cool. Yay, right. buttons! So, buttons. I don't know why it gives you two, though. It's bizarre. But either way. Right, so, uh, Reach, give me a, a dart throw. Right, okay. So, be with that one. Nice. Whoa. So, Damn. and then, let me just edit this first. Grumbar. Not bad, right? Uh, and then, give me two seconds. I need to find his character sheet. God, where did I put Eremos's character sheet? Eremos has a character sheet? Of course he does. Remember that time where what? he punched you in the leg? What's that little dick hiding from us? <laughs> uh, let's see. What spells has he got? <laughs> uh, Oh. He is he is definitely not proficient with these, so it's just a dex roll for him, sadly. <laughs> uh, he just throws it and it just goes straight into somebody's toe. Ooh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's just, like, I think it's because he's holding it like a quill. So when he's got it, he's trying to, like, hold the blade part, so obviously he's he's hurting his finger on, like, the kind of blade, and so he's trying to hold the sides of it, the flat sides of the dart, and it's just... It's not an excitingly encouraging time for Hermos. So <laughs> he pretty much like throws it and it just like hits off the crate underneath, you know, where the board is like two meters above or something. Um so Reach, give us round two. Alright, see so if we can keep it up. We'll see. Uh, Not bad. Okay, yeah. So Scott, what did you do today? I drank beer and played virtual darts. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get out of signing off on a fucking order. Uh, oof. Oh, even. Not Must bad, pick. not bad. And Eremos. Yes! Oh, <laughs> He's learned! <laughs> you watched and studied. <laughs> yep. Um, not bad. Um, he looks proud as fuck, obviously. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Chest puffed out and everything. Uh, reach, round three. Right. Nice. Oh, that's oh cool. damn. Man. Heart of the cards, boys. Heart of the cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> and then. Bounces off the board. Er yeah, he didn't do much better. I mean, technically, that means Aramos has to go sign it. <laughs> uh, no, he's not He's not a paladin. He just wanted to be involved. Um, I don't think he just want Aramos to sign anything, quite frankly. Um, yeah. But yeah, that wasn't bad going, guys. So, I like to believe reached through that second one. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah, no. let the Wookiee win. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm well proud for Airmoss getting that 19. Well done, buddy. Well done. Right on. <laughs> Check you, you wee champ. <laughs> uh, so Cromwell just kind of huffed and just kind of... I'm assuming Reach still has the parchment, so he just kind of... Snatches that out of his hand and goes, I need a quill! Hermos just looks at him and he's like, I have one, but I don't want you to break it. You'll be gentle with this one, I'm sure, won't you, Crumba? I just crouch down to him and go, I wouldn't break it if it's yours. And he kind of just gives you this look like he's unsure. I'm actually just yeah, gonna... The last one was almost his, it was almost the only one who had a quill. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh... Oh, I can guarantee you he would not have given given that up. Uh, or is he see. still unsure? <laughs> Doesn't matter. He's fine. He believes you. <laughs> All right. Because I was going to be. I'd say that you give me that, or I take one from the bird. But uh, anyway. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah. So he he kind of like tentatively like reaches in and pulls out. His is that kind of? Here you, can catch you the go. Bird. Yeah, but I think like. He's literally kind of glued to it to the point where, like, as soon as he lets go, he follows you right over to the table, looks at you signing it and stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm not even going to go to that table. I'm like, Aramas, turn around a minute. He's like, why? I need to use your back. Oh. When I mean, you kind of just, like, he just kind of stares at you, confused, like, why? 
Uh, just be careful of the exclamation mark. The dot needs, and the exclamation mark. <laughs> needs something to lean against. And he kind of like puts his hands on his hips, like incredulously, you could say. And uh, he kind of like pouts up and he's like, I'm not for leaning. <laughs> Fine. And then I stomp over to the table and then uh, give a big sign on it, which looks something like Rambar. Oh, that is Crumbar's signature. Childish it is. <laughs> the size of the world. Uh, I'm the one that has to clean the shop. <laughs> I can clean it up. But just so that everyone knows what I've signed. Uh, but yeah. yeah, so... Crumbar. And then just kind of go back and then just kind of like throw it towards Reach and be like, there you go, go give that to the captain. I'll deal with a blowback later. Thank you, very decent of you. <laughs> <laughs> and as he kind of walks away, I just mutter in Arkish, like calling him like a prick, basically. And I think um, as Reach heads up like the the stairs towards like the the captain, like you just see Armos picking up the darts again and just like throwing them at the wall, uh, just I guess practicing, right? Uh, so he's. Kinda, I would. Uh, I, I think I'd just kind of join Armos and just be like. You know, be like uh, watching them throwing like peony wee darts, and I just pull out my hand axe and throw that. And it bounces off and it's you in the head. Go for it. What? Nah, just click it. You've got it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Plus. Seven. No, no, no. It might be better than his. Because I'm guessing I don't have the darts Cut. anymore. No, I almost got the darts, but he's shit with them. Oh, wow. He is bad. He rolls a one. I think maybe because maybe he's about to throw it and then the axe hits the wall. It doesn't stick into the board, it just smacks off the wall. And then, like, he throws the dart kind of like just anywhere <laughs> at the wall. He's not really aiming <laughs> it. It's just one of those, ah! and throws. Um, I'm just going to remove those. How do I remove these darts? Uh, see if you go into your caricature sheet. And you click on the little lock at the bottom of your attack list and whatnot. Oh, right, and then just delete. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Go. There you go, sorted. Um, Cheers. Cool. Uh, but yeah, so what else are you up to, given all this ongoing? You've been awfully quiet. Well, I am um, eyeing up the burb. Mm. <laughs> Obviously, while everyone's distracted watching these uh, people mm -hmm. play darts or hand axe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any on oh board my god, right, guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just on that note, remind me to tell you what happened at the last rally, or is that during the break, okay? Uh, mm. uh, goose uh, quills would be your standard winner. Do we have any geese for eating on uh, board? Roll a d20, I'll let you know. Uh, D twenty. Nah, nothing like that on board, sadly. It's a hard idea, right? Yeah. What did I need to ruin that twenty? Literally one more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> still got one in four chance type thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah, so the the joys the joys of travel. Um, yeah. So Arya and Kitty, how does that conversation go as you're eyeing up Ruya? <laughs> I'm just staring at the bird, and you know. Oh, do we have like a gentle purring noise that's maybe involuntary? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that would be like a happy noise. <laughs> uh, I I don't really know. Maybe like my tail my tail's swishing about. Mm. Pupils have like if dilated. I, <laughs> if I notice this, I'm gonna look at her, and be like, "Don't you even." <laughs> Make a roll to do what? <laughs> to see if she sees me looking at a bird. Depends. Like, how aware are you? Like, how aware are you that you're just like staring at it? Is it something that you're actively trying to hide? Are you shifty sighting, or are you actually just like absent mindedly? I'm just full on staring at the bird. Yeah, I don't even think she has to roll then, because it's like it's probably one of those moments where. 
that like Reach goes to head upstairs with the, the piece of parchment. You've got Aramos and a uh, Crumbar like throwing stuff at a wall, and then she just turns around to look at you since you're the other party member, and then she just sees you like staring at the bird as if, oh, why are you staring at me? No, you're not staring at me. You're staring at my bird. Wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah, Come on, this? it's just one feather. It can be a tail feather. Oh, yeah, Obviously, you can... I'll have knowledge of, like, you know, stuff like uh, when birds, like, molt, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Yeah. And uh, also, I'll be like, it's not like you need a quill now. First of all, and secondly, when a feather does fall, I'll give it to you. But in the meantime, there's no point in in inflicting any unnecessary damage on Ruya simply because you want to have a quill. But they're gonna need one because otherwise they haven't got anything to write with. We. Wait, didn't Eremos just say yep. earlier that yeah, they've, they, they've he already, would allow... Like, they've, they've already written it. Reach his way upstairs with it. Signed. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> I was paying attention. Right. Stay in the game, Sophie. Stay with <laughs> us, Sophie. Sorry. Stay with uh, us. Look, I've got to pack, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, they've already signed the, the parchment. Reach his way upstairs with it to see the captain. Well, in that case, I'll just, like... <sighs> okay, then. And... Just put my damaged quill away because mm -hmm. I'm a hoarder. I don't get rid of anything. Yeah, I Unless mean... those arrows with the golden order because they disappear. <laughs> Maybe buy some actual arrows then. Yeah, it'll be a, a cheapskate. Or just steal some. I mean, I've got, <laughs> I've got some non golden order arrows. So. Mm. Ah, you're sorted. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Reach, you head up. I asked you wanted to talk to the captain about or are you happy just to exchange paperwork? Oh, just exchange paperwork. Here you go, Captain. Signing uh, an order. That's he kind of just it like opens it, looks at it, kind of just nods, wraps up, tucks it in his jacket, kind of like puts his hand in again, and just kind of starts. So he's like, "I'll be leaving in an hour." Just Excellent. Looks Hope wistfully away time. out again, like oh, she always does, and just starts patting the side of the boat. <laughs> just back away slowly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a really like you, guy. Like, I'm pretty sure you and this boat are in some kind of relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is more like the Michael Bolton of that music video. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is the tale of Captain uh, Clark Grove. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make that. I'm going to write a song <laughs> for that. But yeah, so... so yeah, what's 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 Eric up to downstairs then? Back on Eric. I'm just, well, okay. Uh, I'm gonna like grab my stuff and run upstairs and hide upstairs away from everyone. All right, so just on the top sure, deck, like, yeah. Yeah, like I kind of like oh crap! Like I don't yeah. want the party to panic that I've used all my magic on the <laughs> my hammer. <laughs> Sophie, go <laughs> eat your stuff off the edge of the board. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. I'm just. Gonna, I'm gonna go upstairs and then uh, I'm gonna convert two of my level two uh, sorcery points into. Wait, no. I'm gonna convert one, use them, then convert another, then use them. I can't have more than what, I've, what I can have maximum of. So you're gonna. So you like spells. sneaking away to do this? Yes. Oh, okay. Can I roll perception? Yeah, you can roll perception I if you notice some. Wondering Wait, off. can I do, do stealth? Yeah, of course you can. Are you worried about a young chap <laughs> sneaking away to do something private in a wee quiet room? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Her sneaky eyes noticed the sneakiness that she would have done. <laughs> <laughs> I would have snuck away like this. Where's he off to? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I'm going to stealthily stealth after him. Okay. Yeah. What was that? Uh, do I notice? Yeah. I mean, I feel like your uh, your like passive perception isn't even anywhere near that. So yeah, like there'd be no reason <laughs> for you to be paying attention, right? I don't think I could ever actually roll that either. So, yeah. but um, yeah, so you head upstairs. She just notices that you head upstairs, and then she like slinks off. 
after you. Am uh, I the only one that thinks that Kitty is like stolen all of the twenty rolls in this game? I mean, no, your your darts were pretty decent every day. Every day did pretty well at darts. Um, realistically. Um. And, uh, yeah, but maybe maybe she <laughs> let us borrow some to throw us off the train. As Arya said, <laughs> anything that's not combat is a twenty. It's why I didn't even ask her to roll nature earlier when she asked that question about molting. I'm like, it's just going to be a twenty anyway. So what's you the know point? Something? That's so true. <laughs> like that's why my only reply to that was. <laughs> yep, I enjoyed it. So yeah, so you head up to the top deck. As I said, there's a couple of people milling about, um, but that's about it, really. Like as I said. People just waiting for the boat to kind of cast off. Um, obviously, they're going to be in for an extra week of travel, but then it's literally what the uh, the guy's going to be compensated for. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna... what do you do? What, what what are you up to? How does this look? Talk us through it. So, um, I'm going to go like sit next to the mast kind of thing. There's a couple. And uh, so, yeah, you've got your choice. How many? Three. Nah, two. two. Not big two. enough for three. Can you go, go to, to the, the boat map? Go to the boat map. Boat map. <laughs> there is no boat map. Boat map. Boat map. There was a boat map. There was a boat map for the uh, Callista's laughter. Yeah. This is, this is, it, this is, is it not the same boat? No, this is a bigger ship. Ah, right. Okay, never. Don't yeah. go. This is for That's like, a like, Brian, that was a stupid idea. This is um. This is kind of like cheap passenger transport, really. And the other one was like... So this is like a, the like Ryan a... era of the Golden Gate. <laughs> and then uh, like the... Like, what do you call it? Kalisa's Laughter was just like a little cargo ship. Like a little kind of skimmer, if you will. Right, okay. Yeah. So I... So just... yeah, I'm going to go... Uh, I'm, it's like... It's not on the boat. Where are your masts located? Yeah. So you're like... Do you want to be... Back middle or front middle, basically? Front middle. Is there like a little eeky that I can hide in? Maybe. I mean, there's the part where the captain's just standing staring out into the sea at the front of the boat. He's just and staring I... off of, into the sea. He's doing his Titanic. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's kind of more doing like him. his kind of almost Napoleon, <laughs> like, you know, with his hand in his shirt. Like, he's just kind of standing there looking, trying to look, I guess, like, thoughtful, I guess. I need a hidey hole. Do I notice a, a hidey hole anywhere? Somewhere where it's very hard to notice me. Mm. Somewhere hard to notice you that you would notice to be unnoticed. Real perception. Exactly. <laughs> I need a nat 20 for this. Go! Yep. No, but like you could find somewhere that's maybe a bit less totally out in the obvious. Like you can, like. High beneath stairs? Yeah, maybe like you just kind of crouch down at like, the forward stairs, maybe. As if you're he heading down into the the bow of the ship, but you just like you know, like when you walk downstairs and they kind of turn out round on themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Get me down there if you want. Just gonna put like all my stuff in my bag and keep hold of it, and then uh, kind of put my hammer in the, my bag. Okay. And then like keep hold of it, and then I will convert a second level spell slot to three sorcery points. No, you need to read it again. What? Read again with new eyes. That's what it said. No, you're thinking of making a second level spell slot with three sorcery points. Uh, convert a spell slot to sorcery points. As a bonus action on your turn, you can expend one spell slot and gain the number of sorcery points equal to the slot's level. So I am doing it right. A second level spell slot and turn it into three sorcery points. No. Because that's how read it is. The, read the thing again. And slower. And pay attention to the words. You'll hear it in a second. What's the spell slot and gain a number of equal to the slot slot? Oh, I get two. Okay. There we are. <laughs> yep. It's expensive to make them and you get what the level is back. You don't... That's fine. Uh, you can't just like... You don't have... Um, what's the word? Perfect recycling. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. I'll do one level two then. Mark that down, get two points. Cool. And then, uh, well, I'm not going to mark the two points because I'm instantly going to put it into my hammer. Yeah. And, like, I think you know the animation by now. We all know it. Yep. And this creepy red glow. So, yeah, Kitty, I think, um... Give me a perception check and we'll see if you spot the creepy red glow. 
or not. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah, so you spot this, like, he looks shifty, he's putting stuff into his bag as he climbs out, like, the kind of the rear stairs for where you went and, got, like, hitched up mm -hmm. in rooms. And then he, like, just shuffles along the boat, looks around a bit, spots just this, doesn't really look like he's found anywhere, like, he's comfortable with, spots the ladders down, heads in. You see him putting, like, his hammer and stuff in the, the bag, but just kind of covering the hammer with his bag, mm -hmm. holding onto it. You know this because you're used to walking by stuff and swiping it and jumping it into a bag. So, um, he, uh, and then just like very, you know, cartoon like heads downstairs looking left and right, and whatnot, very surreptitiously. And uh, heads around the corner, and then you just kind of see like this kind of like ominous red glow again. Again, somewhat reminiscent of a weird red glow creature, if Katie would even think of that. But it's a very weird red glow. Mm. But yeah, you're you're fully aware of that. Is that where it stops, uh, Eric? Or are you oh hell no! <laughs> I'm going to convert all my four level one slots into a sorcery point. <laughs> into four you sorcery just, points. You, you just want your po points back. And then I'm going to pour all four into the hammer. Cool. So <laughs> we're at ten. I can see this ending really bad. <laughs> 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 I've got powerful toys, let me play. So, <laughs> you're now at 10, yeah? Yep. Cool. Uh, make a wisdom save. Uh oh. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Um, you, as you're pouring into the hammer, uh, it doesn't seem to be what you gave it, if that makes sense. Like you're like before when you gave it like one sorcery point you went, Oh that's that went in. Okay. Like um when you put a magnet near another magnet but you're holding both of them, that weird pull. And oh, then yeah. you send more in and more. And then like you pull all like your kind of magic into yourself and like force it into the hammer. It doesn't seem like it's gonna stop. And then you manage to kinda like cut it off just at the last minute. And that kind of like <laughs> wisdom save. So I think you're left with what, like a one level two slot? Uh, two level two slots. Two level two slots, yeah. So you know this would have kept drinking. Would have kept drinking? Is that 10 points? God damn. <laughs> yeah. Plug. <laughs> yeah. Like. So it's kind of glowing very bright red at the moment. Like that kind of, again. Like the effect, see the lighting effect again when you're in the bath and you're looking at the ceiling and it's got all the kind of nice dancing lights, but it's the red glow beneath all the crystal that you see do that effect Ooh. within the crystal itself. Can I sit and meditate with it? Just on like the, on the landing? Yeah. Why not? I mean, sure. Can we actually, is there any stairs I can go under? Yeah, if you just keep going down, you could probably like fit under stairs, move a barrel out the way or something, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Hi. So like, and then I think while that's happening, can you, do you get closer or do you leave them to it or what? Because the red glow just keeps getting brighter, I guess. Yeah, I just sort of stick close by, but far enough away that he doesn't notice. Mm -hmm. So he's thinking, yeah. I think he's, he's too engrossed, I think, in his, you know, hammer anyway. Um, and then the kind of glow just kind of dims and you hear him head down the stairs. Like, do you follow suit or? Yeah, I follow because I'm guessing the stairs have got like, Holes One second. through them. Scott, you're breathing on your mic, just so you know. No, oh, sorry. It's okay. And then, it, yeah, so, yeah, it's just like wooden slats, as you can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I will get far enough down that I can actually see him, mm -hmm. but that is not obvious, if that, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so, like, it would go down one flight and then it would be a tiny wee landing to get to the next flight and it would just it would double back on itself. Um, so, yeah. you know, you can stay in the top landing without necessarily him seeing you. I yeah, mean, cause it just looked really weird to anyone walking by, laid half down the stairs. Yeah, it's, and as I said, if anybody walks by, it's maybe just somebody kind of looks at you as if awkwardly trying to just be like, I'm not going to say pardon me, but really what I mean is get out of my way, please, thank you, don't stab <laughs> me. Because um, <laughs> you'll get a lot of weird looks if you're not, like, hooded up and whatnot, right? Because yeah. you're not normal, no offence. Cat people are Because you're a cat. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, they might think I'm just hunting a mouse. They don't know. Mm -hmm. 
It's a big ship. That game. would be racist. So uh, yeah, um, what do you like? What do we <laughs> see under the stairs, as it were, with this kind of? I guess maybe you see the red glow through the slats, right? Yeah. Um, this bizarre red glow. What do we? What's what's Eric up to then? You're sat. You've got your hammer in front of you, I guess. Sat cross-legged, both hands on a hammer. Like I'm kind of like closed my eyes, and I put my forehead on the hammer. Right, okay. And just like speak to me, hammer. In my head, I'm not saying it out loud. Right, okay. Well, no, because that'd be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy. We mm. going too far. Yeah. So what what's going through your head when you're asking it that like? Kind of like, is it, will will you be able to open my book? Is anyone there? The curiosity of whether there's any like if the hammer can speak to me, or and then if it can, can it give me the knowledge to open my book? Mm. Yeah, if that's what's going through your head when you sit and you can like meditate, your, like forehead on the, uh, like kind of like the the ruby hilt. Then uh, there's like as soon as you like kind of make contact with it, there is definitely like a very strong kind of thrum of like a connection between the two of you. Um, like if you've ever like, hmm, that's a good example. See when you touch like a an old TV screen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a static feeling. Yeah, like there's a there's definitely a a connection that's felt. Um, yeah. So you've got that kind of vibe to it, and it's not necessarily. Um, uncomfortable either it's probably weirdly like familiar um but one of those kind of hard to place kind of familiar feelings that you're getting when you make contact with it but it's as dismissive as like when you're trying to remember details from a dream you know like you go i know that feeling why do i feeling oh wait no i'm I'm losing it what what you know kind of vibe yeah. to uh, trying to place that but it's more to do with uh it's the best way to put it if you've stared at like an image on a wall too long and you look somewhere else and you've got the the afterburn in your eyes but then you move to look at the afterburn and it moves obviously as you look yeah. it's more like that is the vibe than the dream kind of forgetting because you're not forgetting the feeling you just when you chase it it moves as if you're not really focused anymore welcome to Ryan's weird descriptions by the way <laughs> um, but hopefully everybody kind of gets what I mean by that uh, that weird kind of like vibe of it's as if you're getting to an answer, but then it's when you seem to focus on it, it it's going away as if you're focusing on the wrong thing. So is that all a hammer does? That's all you get from that, yeah. You just sat underneath the staircase with a glowing red hammer, yeah. And asked yeah, it, can you, can you read a book to me? <laughs> <laughs> so like, what, what did you expect? It's a hammer? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I expected. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but there's I, definitely like there is definitely a strong connection between you and this hammer. There is definitely a lot of power into this hammer now. Um, I mean, it I... could be worse. He could be staring at a gazebo and expecting it to attack him. Just <laughs> <laughs> roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so can I, can I hit my book with a hammer now that is charged? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Cool. What goes through your head, or where goes through your head when you're hitting? Oh, no. <laughs> Going through my head, all it is is open, damn it. Okay, yeah. Good enough. Nothing happened. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you say open, damn it. Obviously, smack the uh, book with a hammer, and a big red swirly portal opens up, and you fall into it. <laughs> uh, Kitty, roll a deck what? save. Um. Oh, God. Uh, mm. There is. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, you have the choice: jump out of the way, or allow yourself to be swallowed up by the red portal. Ooh. Like you have enough reflexes to like jump out the way. But you spot him like just like smacking something on the ground and like the big vortex opens again underneath him and he falls into it. E Ooh. <laughs> Shall we have an adventure? <laughs> <laughs> just depends. Oh, what adventure would um or no. like what would Kitty's response to fucking evil man under the stairs with a red evil hammer? 
Well, Cross is evil, just a racist piece of shit. <laughs> uh, very full of himself. Um, you know, evil kill the cat. <laughs> well. Oh, I don't know, because like, <laughs> I'm just going to lose it. Like, if if so, you I'm want, right? Him. If you want, But everyone right? else needs to know. Wis- wisdom <laughs> is normally what you would do. So do you want to do a wisdom save? And we'll, like, let's say... Oh. I was gonna say I was gonna say like a ten or a twelve or better, and you probably know better. So it's really up to you. Um, <laughs> because I take too long to think about it, the portal closes. Yeah. So maybe <laughs> you're like, nice oh, day. should I go after him? Should I tell the party? Should I go after him? And then, whoop, it disappears. Uh, <laughs> yeah. God dang it. Uh, we'll take our break there, guys. I'll by go the way. tell the rest of them. <laughs> I think we, we have that moment of Kitty being like, "Oh God, what to do? What to do? What to do? What to do? What to do?" And then the portal just goes, and that's when we take our break. <laughs> as I said, <laughs> um, okay. I'll see everybody at like uh, ten past. Give or take a cup of tea. So yeah, goodbye, well. everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.